Hi, I'm Jana Thomas from Block Lock, and I'm here to show you another one of our fantastic rulers. Stay tuned. Okay, so let me show you how you work with Block Lock rulers. First, you're going to need to make your half square triangle using your preferred method, and you need to press your seams to one side. Let me move this out of the way. When you have pressed your seam to one side, the side where the seam is becomes your high side, and the side where there is no seam becomes your low side. And this is really important because when this is right side up and block lock is placed on the half square triangle, the logo block lock has to go on the side of your unit where there is no seam. In other words, the logo goes on the low side. And you simply push it onto the seam allowance and you'll feel it lock in place. There's no rocking and no slipping. The first thing that you're going to do is determine your cut size and you want to make sure that you have enough all the way around before you make your first cut. If I trim this to the 5 inch line, which is this one right here, you can see that there's enough on the other side of this line and so I know that I can make this cut. Then what you're going to do is grab the ruler by these two corners specifically. If you think of, about them as your turning handles, you can push down just a little bit and turn the whole thing around and then you'll slide the ruler back to the size that you need and let me move that just a little bit more and then finish making your cut. One of the great things about block lock rulers is that when we have pressed in a curve and this happens a lot because we're working with bias edges one of the things that you can do is use the groove in block lock and force that seam to go right in the corner and if you can see right here it's not that corner of the ruler is not on the seam line so all I'm going to do is turn this ruler just a little bit and it's going to force that seam to go right in line and now when I trim the seam will end up right smack in the corner where it's supposed to go And again, before I make my final cut, I need to make sure that I'm all the way in there, right on the corner, and finish. So that's how you square up with block lock rulers. And if you want to square up something smaller, let me cut one up and you'll be able to see. It's a great multiple size ruler. So if I need to cut something much, much smaller, this will work. So I pick my size again. I'll go to the two inch line. Here's my first cleanup cut. Turn the ruler around, slide it back, and finish the cut. And there you go. There's my trimmed half square triangle. So now let me show you how to square up a quarter square triangle or an hourglass unit. Once it's completed, you want to take this very last seam that was sewn and press it to one side. And now you can use block lock to trim it. Now that the seam is on this side of the quarter square triangle, the logo block lock goes on the low side. And again, you're locking onto that very last diagonal seam. I'll slide the ruler down until the size I want is not appearing out here, but rather on this seam and this seam. And I just need to move it down just a little bit more. And once I've got that, I'll make my clean up cut. And then I'll turn the unit around. And now I've got the cut edge to go by, which makes it a lot easier. And I just slide it back. Make sure that you stay locked on, and then you'll make your final cut. And that's how quickly you can square up a quarter square triangle. Thanks for joining us today. Please visit our website for more information, and happy quilting.